Hi, my name is Ivan, welcome to TNS, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to use some nasty compression to bring a drum room to life. In this song, the drums are very mellow throughout, and they work like that for the most part. But in the final build-up of the song, the drummer starts hitting one of the thumbs really hard. And now I decided to add a bit more energy to that section. Uh, the drum room track on its own sounds like this. So I made a copy of that track and decided to do some processing on it. Let me take everything off first. Okay, the first two plugins here in the chain are just driving that track a bit. Let me add the next module here, which is the Air EQ Earth. I'm doing a low cut around 56 Hz, and it's creating a nice little rumble down there in the low end. After that, we have the custom series EQ, and I'm adding a lot of 100, a lot of 4K, and a lot of 10K, and I'm just removing some of the 400 here. Let's hear that. Now we hear the sizzle of the snare on the top, and that low end of the kick is uh, really pronounced. And now with the final plugin in the chain, we have the compressor, the FG Stress, that's gonna completely smash this sound. And this may not sound nice on its own, but when we blend it in with the rest of the drums, it's gonna sound fine. Okay, now finally, let's play that drum section and slowly bring in this smashed drum room sound. Yeah, there's a lot of rumble, but this rumble sounds nice to me. I'm gonna play it now with the drum room and take it off so you can hear the difference finally. There's one more plugin in this chain here, and it's just sculpting the stereo picture of this uh, drum room. I have the Fab Filters Pro Q2 in mid side mode, because I didn't want all this rumble to get away too much on the sides, so you can see here where's the cut, and where there is a slight boost on the sides around 8.5k. Anyway, that's it from me in this video. I hope you like this smash drum sound. Thank you all for watching, and bye.